Well, images of Ukraine under attack are seared in the heart and mind of a Detroit photographer tonight. The fighting began before his very eyes. He just got back and is sharing his extraordinary photos as a witness to war. From the wave of refugees to the aftermath of airstrikes, 7 Action News reporter Nana Sanchibonsu talked to him tonight as the historic tragedy unfolds. Good evening. Steve Andre is back in Detroit after spending several weeks in Ukraine. He tells me he's obviously happy to be home and safe, but also says he feels guilty for leaving. Where does the guilt come from? Why do you feel guilty? Because I got out. I can, I'm basically here in this place. Back home in Michigan, while thousands of people in Ukraine are still trying to leave a war zone. Women and children basically just outside freezing for hours and hours and hours on end. This is one of Steve Andre's last memories of Ukraine as he headed towards Poland's border. Every night there would uh, be air raid sirens, there would be explosions you could hear in the background. We spoke to Andre almost a month ago while he was in Kyiv. For over five years, he's been using his camera to capture wars. I've been going to the Ukrainian front lines in the east in the Donbass region since 2017. But he says this time around, things were different. It's just a different area. You don't expect it to see in a, in a capital that has a population of almost 3 million people. He was able to snap several shots while also trying to make it out. So they knocked out the broadcasting. Ability. Andre took photos of the deadly TV tower attack in Kyiv after Russian troops fired a missile. Here's another photo of damaged buildings across the street from the tower. Like waking up this morning, it's just, it just seemed like it was a bad dream, but it's not. It's reality and for millions and millions of people. According to the United Nations, two million people have left Ukraine since the start of the Russian invasion. Andre shared these photos of crowded stations and people waiting on trains to take them to the border. When he arrived to the border, he says, he spent several hours in an empty warehouse turned shelter where you can see women and children sitting on cots. That's where they had all the, the refugees going to just to at least be able to rest, warm up, eat hot food. He says as the world watches the war from a screen, don't forget the people who sometimes can't be seen. The volunteers in Ukraine and at the borders helping civilians like himself. They're just normal people just stepping up. So it's, it's just incredible. Steve tells me he does have plans on going back to Ukraine, but right now he's working with a close friend and they're collecting medical supplies to take back to Ukraine very soon. I'm Nana Santio Bonsu for 7 Action News. Heartbreaking and inspiring at the same time. Thank you, Nana. We want you to stay with 7 Action News on air and online at WXYZ.com for continuing coverage of the war in Ukraine.